Welcome to Off Grid from the Ground Up, where we describe how we measured the heights for each of the posts for our post and pier foundation. You may have noticed from previous videos that our property is a little less than flat. And when we created the house pad, we knew that our ground was not going to be perfectly level. That's okay as long as you know how to level it once you have the piers in. Fortunately, my dad was willing to help us with this. He's got decades of experience in building things like this. And he came out with his laser level and um, his wife and helped us to take the measurements for each of the post heights. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to walk you through some math so that you can see how this is done. This makes my teacher heart really happy because there's an actual application for creating common denominators and subtracting fractions. Yay! The first thing you want to do is figure out where your highest grade and your lowest grade in your foundation is located. For us, this was the for all intents and purposes, upper left-hand corner for the highest and lower right-hand corner for the lowest. Wherever your grade is highest will be the location of your shortest post. And wherever your lowest grade is located will be the location of your tallest post. Use your laser level to take the measurements of each of the piers in your foundation. And this is an extremely simplified diagram. I've taken 30 piers and laid them out here as if they were four piers just to demonstrate to you what this looks like. So we've wound up with the measurements 22 and a quarter, 29 and 1 16th, 56 and 3 eighths, and 59 and 7 eighths. And these are all in inches. It really doesn't matter what these measurements are. What matters is that you set your laser level up so that you can see or shoot, take the measurements of each of the piers in your foundation. I do wanna say we are lucky that my dad has a laser level. These are not cheap. Um, my mom, who did this for her house back in the 1960s, used what's called a string level, which is a budget tool that does exactly the same thing um, perhaps with a little bit more labor. Next up, you want to decide what the height of that shortest post will be. We went with 10 inches because our piers are 8 inches tall. 8 inches plus 10 inches is 18, and 18 inches, generally speaking, is the minimum crawl space you want underneath your house. Now, because I'm going to walk you through some math, we're going to call that 10 inch number X. You can also see that I have designated posts A, B, and C, just to keep track as we go through this. Here's the formula we're going to use for this math. So the measurement of whatever pier you're working on minus the measurement of the shortest pier plus the height of that shortest post. In math terms, we'll call this M sub N minus M sub X plus 10 equals H. The height that we had measured with the laser level for the post that we're calling A was 29 and 1 16th inches. So we're going to substitute that value in for M sub N, and we get 29 and 1 16th minus 22 and 1 4th, which is the measurement that we took with the laser level off the first post, the shortest post, tallest pier. And then we add 10, which is the height of the shortest post. You always want common denominators when you're adding or subtracting fractions. So we're going to change 1 quarter into 4 sixteenths. Then we need to change 29 and 1 sixteenth into an improper fraction. So we change it to 28 and 17 sixteenths minus 22 and 4 sixteenths plus 10. Follow the order of operations. We always add and subtract left to right. So we end up with 6 and 13 sixteenths plus 10, 16 and 13 sixteenths inches. Fill that number in on your diagram so that you can keep track. And also take a black Sharpie and write it on the bracket itself on the pier. That way, when you cut the posts, you know exactly which post goes where. 
Here's a second example with post B. This time the measurement was 56 and 3 eighths, so we had to change our common denominator to eighths, and we end up with 44 and 1 eighth inches. Mark that on your diagram. And now for the challenge. Can you do C on your own? If you are feeling really ambitious, you can pause the video and then check yourself against what we end up with. Did you get it? Remember to record each number both on your diagram and in black sharpie on the bracket itself. Measure twice, cut once, make sure that your numbers make sense, make sure that you are double and triple checking your work, and go forth knowing that your floor will be level. I hope this was helpful for you. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share if you appreciate our content, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.